Today we will be discussing the Kunbus Revolution Pi. We will also do a small technical demonstration on interfacing the submodules with the Revolution Pi itself. Stay tuned if you want to find out some more. RevPi Connect is based on the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 3 and it features a 1.2 GHz quad core processor, 1 GB of RAM, and 4 GB of flash memory. It is designed to perform the function of an edge based IoT device, interfacing the existing assets and machinery on your site with powerful computing and IoT based services. The RevPi locally supports multiple protocols such as Modbus TCP, RTU, as well as common IoT compatible protocols such as MQTT and OPC UA. This allows you to interface and transfer your machine data directly to the cloud. The RevPi Connect is expandable and supports various IO modules that may be useful in your application. Currently available is digital input and output modules, analog input and output modules, as well as multiple industrial Ethernet and field bus gateways that allows you to connect to your existing industrial Ethernet and field bus infrastructure on site. The modules are essentially plug and play. The RevPi Connect comes pre-programmed with a graphical configuration interface. We will now take you through the graphical interface and how to configure each of the modules connected. Alright, for configuration of the Revolution Pi, I will need to log into the web interface of the RevPi directly. He's been connected to a DHCP enabled router, specifically a 3G router as such, uh, so I can give him internet connectivity at a later stage. Uh, but I'll need to find out what IP address he's been assigned. So I can use a piece of software called uh, Advanced IP Scanner. Advanced IP Scanner looks for all available IP addresses within the specified range. So there's my Teltonica 3G router, root 230. Here's my PC. And there's my rev pass sitting at 192.168.1.203. So let me quickly open my Chrome browser, 192.168.1.203. Alright, so now I'm prompted to give some uh, login details. The username here will always be admin. And the password uh, should be a sticker on the side of the rev pi. It's a six digit password. As I log in, I come through to an apps page. There's a couple of apps, some which have been disabled and some enabled. We'll come to those a little bit later. For now, we're going to focus on Pictory. Pictory is a graphic interface that allows me to set up the module configuration of the Revolution Pi itself. I can also uh, create some Modbus uh, registers for the Modbus TCP and RTU master and slave functionality as well as uh, bring in some uh, timers as such as well. So I'll just press start over here. Now this is my configuration screen. On the left side you can see there's all the available modules which I can drag into my configuration. At the top is my two head stations, either the RevPi Core version 1.2 or the RevPi Connect. In this case I have a RevPi Connect so I will click and drag them onto my screen. Next, it's important to remember now that you need to assign modules in Pictory in the same order that they are physically connected to the device. So what I physically have connected right next to the RevPi Connect is the analog input and output module, which is over here under IO devices. Next is a digital input output module. And then lastly, we actually have a RevPi gate, uh, the Profibus version itself. So I'll drag that into my last empty slot. And that should pretty much be all the configuration that is required to assign the different IO modules to the head station as such. It uh, automatically assigns input and output data uh, or memory locations for each of these uh, uh, modules connected. And then it has some default, uh, I suppose you could call them tag names uh, assigned for each of the different units. So if I go to the digital inputs, I can see there's my outputs, uh, PWM, our digital output module does support pulse width modulation, which is going to be a fun practical at a later stage. And uh, there's a couple of virtual devices which I could also bring in, such as uh, the Modbus Master and Slaves, as we mentioned, and then uh, some timers as well. But uh, for now, I'm just going to click File, Save as Start Config. And then I need to click Tools, Reset, Drive.